go ahead, open up Red Snow, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Extras and select IPSW, and select the iOS 5.0 firmware for the device that you're using, and then it'll say it identified that device, that firmware, and then go into Jailbreak, and it processes all the data from the firmware. And now you have several options about what you want to do, like enabling battery percentage and installing Cydia. Just leave it with the default, unless you know what you're doing. Hit next, and now you're going to be putting your device into DFU mode. So this consists of first holding down the power button for 3 seconds, then holding both together for another 10 seconds, and the screen should go black after about 6 seconds or so. And keep holding it, then release the power button, or the top button, and just hold the home button for another 15 seconds. It should go on un, uh, until it hits about 9, and then begin the progress bar. This progress bar will just flash through a couple times, and the screen on your device will flash white, black, and a couple other colors maybe. That's all normal. And then you'll get a screen that says, Downloading Jailbreak Data. And this will stay there for a while, while Red Snow finishes its process on your device. Then it'll say, Done. And remind you that this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that you're going to have to boot tethered in Red Snow once you're done. But you'll get a bunch of white text flashing on your screen. It'll say, please wait, or just flash a bunch of stuff. Don't even need to read it. Not important. But the next step is going to involve going back and choosing just boot tethered, because this is a tethered jailbreak, which means that every time you want to reboot your device, if you ever uh, want to use like any jailbreak apps or... Other fun or other functionalities like Safari, I believe, uh, after downloading the Semi Tether app from Big Boss, then you're gonna have to run Red Snow on your computer and choose this Just Boot option. So you'll also get a pineapple flash on your screen, and your device will start to reboot. After it uh, reboots or starts to reboot, you can go on to the next step. So select Just Boot and you're going to be putting your device into DFU mode again, so go ahead, hit next, hold the power button for 3 seconds, then hold both buttons for 10 seconds, and it'll, the screen should go black after about 6. Then release the power button, hold the home button for another 15 seconds, and when the counter hits 9 or so, it'll go on to the next step, and it'll look like it's jailbreaking, but it'll stop the process part way through. And when it says waiting for reboot, you should get a pineapple appearing on your device, and that means that it's done, and it'll say done up here. Also note that uh, between, if you're having issues, between jailbreaking and just booting tethered, you may have to go back and select the 5.0 IPSW again, uh, that's one issue that people had, but that's the, that's all you need to do. Once again, just reminding you that this is a tethered jailbreak, so anytime that you want to restart your device, you're going to have to go through the process of booting tethered again. And you can check the link in the description to make this jailbreak semi-tethered.